Hi, guys. Welcome back. After updating to iOS 16, some users encounter this problem when resetting their iPhone or iPad, stuck on uploading data to iCloud. Don't freak out. Today I will show you guys three easy ways. Method 1. Force restart your iPhone. It is the easiest solutions in order to slow systems bug. If you use iPhone 6 and older models, press and hold the power button, as well as the home button together, until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the power button and the volume down button until the Apple logo appears. For iPhone 8 and later, press and then quickly release the volume up button and do the same with the volume down button. Now press the side button until the Apple logo appears and the device restarts. Method 2. Repair iPhone with Reiboot, no data loss. If after you force restart, iPhone still stuck, you can try using third-party tools. We introduce to you a reliable and efficient tool Tenorshare Reiboot. Reboot is an iOS system repair tool. It will not lead to data loss on your phone, which fix more than 150 plus iOS system issues. You can check the download link in the description and download it. Once finished installed, connect your iPhone to PC. Open Reiboot. Click the green start button. Then choose standard repair. Here Reiboot will download the firmware that matches your iPhone. Just click it. The download process will not be long. Depending on your network condition, be patient. Then, click on the Start Standard Repair. Reboot will start to repair your iPhone. You need to wait for a little while. Please be patient. And do not disconnect your iPhone during the process. Then it is done. You can see, your iPhone is back to the normal state again. I can access it without any problem. And all my data is still there. It's very easy. Method 3. Restore by iTunes. After putting your device on recovery mode, connect your iPhone onto your computer with a lightning cable, and then launch iTunes from there. It will show that your iPhone is required to be updated or restored. Click Restore button. Agree on those terms. Then iTunes will begin to download the firmware that is needed. Once the download is completed, it will start to update your iPhone. But you need to pay attention that with iTunes your data is at risk of loss. So I suggest you can try Reboot. So that's it. Okay. Here is today's tutorial. Hope you like it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you succeed in one of the methods. If you like this video, you can subscribe us. Stay tuned for our next videos.